Um, we've been talking about main idea and supporting details. Um, and we have been doing different things with that. We've been cutting and gluing to work on it. We've been bringing things from Mrs. Meyer's house, laying them on the rug and sorting them, finding the main idea, sometimes finding the supporting details. Um, but today we're going to do something a little different because you see a story here. Then you see four boxes here with lines. You're probably going to be doing what on those lines? Writing. Writing. Okay, but if I just look at my picture, I'm probably not going to be talking about astronauts today or anything in space. What do you think we'll be reading about today? Luke is showing me he's got an idea. What do you think? He thinks the ocean, and he hasn't read anything. He's just looking at the picture. If you agree that that might be what we're reading about? Oh, I see some of these moving. Okay, so first, let's read it. The first thing we're going to do is just read it for fun. So we're just going to listen. The second time we read it, I'm going to ask you to do something. Okay, I want this magic wand. The ocean covers 75% of our planet. Amazing creatures live in the ocean. Blue whales are the biggest animals on Earth. They weigh as much as 30 elephants. Dolphins sleep at night just below the surface of the water. They frequently rise to the surface for air. Shrimp can only swim backwards. So they frequently rise to the surface for air. If they frequently do that, and I don't know what that word means. They frequently rise to the surface for air. Frequently probably means they do it what? Well, often, more often. They do it often, they do it a lot. Shrimp can only swim backwards. So now, remember we are reading for fun. Now I'm going to ask you to do something. And here was the main idea. The whole story, what's it about? Remember, you usually find out at the beginning, somewhere near the beginning. But don't let it trick you. So I'm going to read it again. What's the main idea? The whole story, what's it about? Okay, so if you do have it, do this while I'm reading. If you need more time. The ocean covers 75% of our planet. Amazing creatures live in the ocean. Blue whales are the biggest animals on Earth. They weigh as much as 30 elephants. Dolphins sleep at night just below the surface of the water. They frequently rise to the surface for air. Shrimp can only swim backwards. Hi. What do you think the main idea was about? This is what I'm looking for. The whole story. Peyton, what do you think the entire story was about, the main idea? You feel it's all about the ocean. Okay, if you agree. I don't see a lot of these, though. If you have a different idea. McCartney, give me your idea. Animals in the ocean. So she says animals in the ocean. If you agree that that's the main idea. So this was a little tricky. So we have two different answers. So let's go back and read. The ocean covers 75% of our planet. Well, that sentence talks about the ocean, right? That was Peyton's answer. I'm going to keep reading. Amazing creatures live in the ocean. So now I'm talking about animals that live there. I'm talking about blue whales, dolphins, and shrimp. And shrimp. So most of my paragraph, was it about the ocean or was it about the amazing creatures? Amazing creatures! It's tricky because when we write stories, we always tell you what we're writing about in sentence number one. Is it always like that? No. It's not because they didn't tell us in the first sentence. They told us in the second sentence. So here's what I'm going to have you do. You're going to go underline the main idea. Go 
underline it, and you see this box that says main idea, you're going to write it in the box. Neatly, when you're done, come back and sit on the bench. Um, Jonah, oh no, Aaron, will you open the door, please? Thanks, honey. of my room go back and get straight to work. And I saw that with my eyeballs, too. Did you write it? Look at my paper. Your has to match, my love.
the biggest animals on earth, will you go highlight it? Okay, so I have mine, and we have hers, so that's one, two. We need another one. We need one more, because we have three boxes. Oh, this is very difficult. Okay, Colby. I can tell he really wants. What do you think? Okay, but if I just write that, they weigh, do I know what we're talking about? Mm -mm. So we're not going to be able to use that sentence. Look a little further. Can you spot another one? What do you think? You, it seems like you, yeah, go. Dolphins sleep, and I just do it below the surface. Above the water? Mm -hmm. Does that support that amazing creatures live in the ocean? Yes. Can you go highlight that sentence? After he highlights, I'll move up. It's a little off. Oh, oh yeah. These are finished, right? Yeah, that is finished. Okay. Okay. Hayden's body is so peaceful. Jonah's voice is so peaceful. Thank you, Jonah. Okay, now I need to switch it. Um, let's see if I can do it backwards. Doo -doo. Oh, no, it's just not working, friends. Okay. One, two, three. Yes, Chloe. Eyes on me. One sentence goes in each box. So the blue whale sentence, the dolphins, and the shrimp. While you're writing it, I'll write mine too. If you have extra time, you can color if you want. If you don't want to, that's okay. Just put it in your cut. Since we've worked so hard this morning, we'll do a brain break before we go to restroom and learn. If you are okay with that idea, thumbs up. This is what I need. So our voice level is going to be at a zero. Okay. Show me what that sounds like. I want to hear it. My higher half. Is she good color with marker? Yes, that is. Let's go. 